Mhm. Mm Nimeanza na mzuka lakini sikuwa <laughs> then I get paid to do this. But hey, so I've been trending. Okay, yes, I'm the one who's popping today on the You're spot. Popping. <laughs> <laughs> so from last week there's just been a lot of things happening from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram and everyone was tagging me of which I could care less mm -hmm. but I have to just address this but let's take a look at the video that got me on there to headlines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Primary, high school, high school college, nipate masters PhD eh. kuja kukuosha viomba. Excuse me. Kuna wenye wana nini? Squeeze na kwambia mama. No these women eh. If a man can't cook, kwa hivyo ingia hata wewe mwenyewe oshe viombo. Si expect kasi kwa kwa hiyo nyumba na kuja na pata viombo zenye wewe ulitumia peke yako ni chafu uwezi osha manze a man hey personally my type of man you can cook you can wash and clean mimi si shida mtaji kufanya kazi yeah as, as in, in okay all of you have been tagging me but i've never like i don't look at things that concern me when oh they are trending God. over there mm. honestly speaking so right now it's when i was checking the video and i'm like first this video um this show it was here mm -hmm. and this was 2018 december just like one month after we started chat spot yeah. so i was very aggressive and yes but anyway back to the elephant in the room i'll be very straightforward with this um i think a lot of people misunderstood what i was trying to say every woman has their own standards mm -hmm. so if for me a quality i want in my future husband or spouse is someone who can get into the kitchen cook clean after themselves that's my standard so mm -hmm. you as a man you either look for a woman who's up to your standards or someone you feel the standards you can accommodate as a person mm -hmm. and um what i mean to say i don't i'm not saying women should not clean i clean i make sure like you know that's what we know you get as a lady you need to keep keep your house clean you need to do the dishes you need you know kufanya abcd but as a woman i'll speak from my own perspective i think to tumefika mali like an enzi fulani yenye as women you just don't want a man who just stays and does nothing in the house okay to assume um, i get pregnant and maybe niko nimepata cs or something i'm not able to move around the house i can't clean i need to eat specific foods and i tuna house out because kidogo maybe economy mekata you as my husband in manisha you'll just sit over there we will die of hunger aya to assume kitu kingine maybe the woman is not there maybe she passed away and you have children in the house and that time maybe you don't have a house help Okay, will your children sleep hungry just because you cannot go to the kitchen and cook as a man? So for me I loved kwanza what Nana said. King Kaka made her dinner yesterday and she's a woman. That's what I'm talking about. You being a man, being responsible and also understanding not that your wife is not your house help. Your mm -hmm. wife is not your maid. Your wife is your partner and it's okay it doesn't make you any lesser of a man going to the kitchen cooking for your woman. You know, the same woman be like by that babe today I'll just handle everything. You sit down, you are my queen. It doesn't make you less than a man. We have men who are online and they show us they cook. They show us how they cook, they show us how they clean the dishes and they are mega superstars. So I don't understand why the fuss what the fuss is about cuz if you have an issue doing the small things like helping your partner your girlfriend your wife I'm sorry but you're not my type of a man and that's my preference I respect everyone's preference and wanawake tutafanya kawaida yetu but we are not slaves we yeah. are not your house help First we are your all, partners don't... so don't misquote me cuz I saw guys you know yeah, are posting you know yeah. after the yeah. case that your lady killed a man because they <laughs> refuse to wash them they're like hey, this is what we are not advocate i'm not as kushtrisi i'm not advocating for that i'm like you know what we need men who help their women yeah. you know cook for your girlfriend cook for your wife yeah. i don't yeah. even understand why this happen. is a trending topic like i honestly thought you insulted someone yeah you said it was the... watching right yeah. now i'm like i even said my type of a man right. you get it's Tracy's yeah. type yeah. not everyone's type so yeah. all you said all you said is that you have a certain preference yeah. when it comes to yeah. to men yeah, oh jatuka na mtu yeah. like she said if you don't meet those preferences ni sawa yeah, kuna yeah. wengine yeah, watamit those preferences and, 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 and move on yeah, and just i don't understand I mean, like marriage relationships it's a partnership mm -hmm. yes. like you yes. bring 50 i bring 50 exactly. there's nothing wrong with you washing i am married mm. there's nothing wrong with my husband helping me mm -hmm. to do such in the house, is, yeah. especially if we are only two of us exactly. he can't come home and just expect kila kitu ifanywe but again this is not to lessen any woman who does this for their husband mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's Preference. so nice when it feels like it's not a responsibility mm -hmm. yeah it's just but a thing. it's just you yeah yeah, yeah.
because there's some men who actually enjoy like doing dishes like yeah. as in, as in when it comes to like um chores and everything me i enjoy um doing chores mm-hmm. but like more than once uh, my boyfriend has told me don't wash the dishes i'll wash them it's fine like mm-hmm. even though and don't who's used them even though it's us who's used them it's mm-hmm. fine yeah. let's yeah, let's as long as you can agree you know, sometimes vitu kai zindo zinaweza fanya watu akosani me saying and i think at that time don't watch your clip i was very specific mm-hmm. my kind of a man yeah. has to be able to get into the kitchen mm-hmm. i don't mind cooking but i'm not a fan of doing dishes but i'll clean the whole house mm-hmm. so nile like hey babe see unaweza ni vyombo adaze you get but yet it's a must so don't misquote what i said and next time as you listen to things before you go online and start tagging people in things and insults and all that i told you i'm bulletproof that's why i don't even check when i'm trending because i'm like you'll just write your nonsense over there that does not help me progress as a person but kindly do not misquote me okay kila mtu na standards yake it's it's up to you Yeah. yeah so eh eh mwanamke ni kujipanga na mtu wake yeah we have the next story na kush bado wendo ko jipanga yes yes on to the other serious things okay so um we had been psycho on the show i think a few months ago i'm not sure whether mm. it was this year yeah, or it was this year it was this, this year yes. yeah and he told us you know the sister was sick she was diagnosed with um cancer her name is joy and uh, it's unfortunate that we lost joy over i think it's over the weekend And you know Ben Seko went to his Instagram and he posted and he was talking about you know the last time he saw her he was there and he was like you know what let me put for you Netflix on your phone so that you don't you don't get bored when you're here and you know the sister was actually very excited and that was the last time he saw her but he's so happy because you know he says her faith was unshaken all through the um her so health issues she was like you know like you know I still believe in God and all that you know Ben Seko is a gospel artist so Christianity runs in the family. So she's been a strong believer all through and he's happy. He's like, you know, you fought a good fight, but at least you can go and rest with the angels. So yeah. our condolences to you, Ben Psycho yeah. and your family and your relatives. We are really sorry. May God give you strength during this time. Yeah, Ben Psycho, yes. my condolences. Yes. Yeah.